gonna launch a nuke. Snake, we've got to stop her. Whatever it takes. Awaiting your orders. Stop me if you can. That little girl was working against us. Tell me about it. She had everybody fooled, me included. I can't believe I didn't pick up on anything. Snake, there's no point in beating yourself up over the past. But hey, maybe you should put in some practice against Zeke in case this sort of thing ever happens again. In any case, I need to go talk to Dr. Strangelove. Zeke still isn't ready. Huey! How's it going? How does Zeke look? 
The attitude control AI had a backup, so it should be able to walk. Really? Well, that's good. Beyond that, it's up to the creator. Stop! Don't come any closer, Doctor. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Do you... do you despise me? Doctor, are you asking me out? No, no. <laughs> Not at all. Uh... No? Hmm. Pity. Because I've just had my heart broken by someone else. What? I only like those who can stand on their own. If you fancy me, then come walk with me. Who knows what miracles might happen. Love is blind after all. Take your time. I'll be waiting. That name Poss mentioned at the end, Cypher, it's a code. It means empty. It also means... Zero. A world of electronic intelligence, built on codes, and at the center of it all, a zero. Cuz. Uh, look boss, I owe you an apology. Hear me out, okay? <sighs> sure. I, uh, knew Paz and the Professor. I knew who they really were all along. Cuz... I used them. I suppose you were the one that brought them to Columbia in the first place, huh? Guilty as charged. Paz wasn't just CIA, you know. She was working for the KGB, too. And for this Cypher group. In other words, she was a triple agent. You knew all of this? Wait, let me finish. Listen, MSF never would have gotten this big if it weren't for them. This mercenary business we built, someday it's going to be a new driving force in the world economy. <sighs> is that your goal all along? The Cold War is not going to last forever. Sooner or later it's going to give way to an era of regional conflicts and terrorism. A paradigm shift from counter-communism to counter-terrorism. In the new age, Armies won't be tied to states, and war will become a business. We'll be a valuable commodity. There'll be clients all over the world who need our services. MSF is only the beginning. What we're creating here is a revolution in itself. Am I right? Cuz, it's not going to be that easy. What do you mean? This whole Peace Walker thing has left our mark on the history of the Old Order. We've put ourselves on the radar of intelligence agencies and governments east and west. The whole world probably knows about us now. Including that Cypher outfit. We've let ourselves interfere with the times, with the Cold War system of deterrence. We're an army without a flag. We weren't supposed to take sides in international affairs, but we did. I see your point. So what happens to us now? We'll be hunted. Not everybody's gonna be happy with us, huh? You're damn right. We upset the global military balance of power. And these people would rather our army without borders not exist at all? They're gonna come knocking real soon. There's no turning back now. We're a wrench in the old system of deterrence. 
As long as the times refuse to change, we're gonna make a hell of a racket. Then who are we gonna fight? The establishment. Anybody who tries to restore the old balance wants to snuff us out of existence. Which establishment? It won't be a particular country or ideology that hunts us. Who then? We are going to be fighting the biggest beast of all. The Times. Ten years ago, the Times rejected the boss and killed her. And now, we are the ones being tested. Will the Times erase us? Or work with us? It's gonna be a lonely battle. No good or evil. No winners or losers. Business will have to wait. The question we have to ask ourselves now is, can we survive long enough to see the 21st century? I'm with you, boss. We'll see how it turns out, together.
Take our countries. We will leave our motherlands behind us and become one with this earth. We have no nation, no philosophy, no ideology. We go where we're needed, fighting not for country, not for government, but for ourselves. We need no reason to fight. We fight because we are needed. We will be the deterrent for those with no other recourse. We are soldiers without borders, our purpose defined by the era we live in. We will sometimes have to sell ourselves and services. If the times demand it, we'll be revolutionaries, criminals, terrorists. And yes, we may all be headed straight to hell. But what better place for us than this? It is our only home, our heaven, and our hell. 